Okay, you guys, tonight's dinner is going to be an egg roll in a bowl. Super simple recipe, so all you're gonna need is some shredded cabbage, some ground meat of your choice. This is from yesterday's meal. If you watched my previous video, I made um, bell pepper soup. So if you wanna see how I made that, I will link it in the cards up here. Um, so I put it in the fridge like that. I didn't have any Ziploc bags, it's fine. Um, so I'm gonna use the other half of the ground beef. I usually use ground turkey or ground chicken. So this is my first time making it with ground beef. We'll see how it ends up. In here I have the other onion from yesterday. So the half of the onion from yesterday's meal is in here. And I'm also gonna use some of this garlic. So let's get right into today's video and what we're having for dinner. Okay friends, so today's dinner is super simple. So this video is going to be a short one because when I tell you this was the most simple thing ever, it really was, and I really liked it. So I usually make this recipe with ground chicken or ground turkey. I've never made it with the ground beef, and honestly, this is my new favorite way. So I'm just roughly chopping up this onion. Also, please bear with me, I think I'm getting sick, and so I'm a little stuffy and a little nasally this morning, but hopefully it will go away. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and rough chop up my garlic. I did a bunch of garlic, because I'm garlic obsessed. So I also roughly chop this up because I feel like it just gives better flavor. And when you're eating those big bites of garlic with the cabbage, I don't know, it just gives it the best flavor. Um, so I did a, quite a few cloves of garlic and I kept them up really, really big. And then I went ahead and put the onion and garlic into the pan with a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil. We do have avocado oil, but I couldn't find it at this point. So I just went ahead and threw that in there. Um, I seasoned with Slap Your Mama. This is one of my favorite things to use on everything. I season everything with Creole seasoning. It's my favorite seasoning to use. That's what I grew up on. And then I went ahead and did the fine onion powder. Y'all already know what I have to say about this. It just tastes so much better. And yes, I seasoned up my onion and my garlic with onion and garlic seasoning. Seasoning. It's just what we do around here. It's what I do. I love it. I think it tastes good. Um, and then I went ahead and let these things saute for a little bit. I actually made a mistake and I put in the cabbage before I put in the ground beef, which you guys are about to see that. Um, but as you can tell, I over seasoned my veggies because I feel like it kind of cooks and toasts the flavor of the seasoning. So by the time I put in the other things, the seasonings are toasted and it makes the, like, the cabbage or the meat taste just like toasted seasoning. It is so good. You guys, you should try it out. Um, and so then I went ahead and mixed all this in. And like I said, I was supposed to put in the ground beef first, but I forgot. At this point, I was thinking, dang, this recipe is super easy. And then I was like, oh, that's because I'm missing the whole point of the recipe, which is the ground meat. Um, and this recipe does call for ground chicken or ground pork, but I used ground beef because it's what I had. And it's a little bit cheaper, and I just... I just like it a little bit better. Um, so I went ahead and put in some of this teriyaki marinade and sauce. It took it to the next level. Um, and I also, I think the recipe only calls for like sesame oil and um, ground ginger. My ground ginger went out of date um, whenever I went to make this video. So I wasn't able to use any ground ginger, which I'm fine with. I don't really like ground ginger. Um, and you're also supposed to put to toasted sesame oil. Um, but I really don't like toasted sesame oil at all. And so I went ahead and put in the uh, soy sauce and mix it all together. And it was at this point that I realized I did not put in my ground beef, so I went ahead and added that in. And y'all, this dish was so simple and so good. I feel like you can even like put this as a side to something. So like how I made it in half, I feel like you could even put this to a side with like some orange chicken or even do some like fried rice on the side. I know this is made for like a low calorie, low carb dinner. Um, but like I said, if you have a family that doesn't really prefer this, you can even pair this with like rice or chicken. It was really, really good.
I also had to throw in my sweet Kirby Lou. She's my best girl, my best friend. Even though people are so mean to her, I had to show her. And then here is the finished product, you guys. It was so good. So I put some spicy sriracha mayo on the side of mine, drizzled over the top, and boom! 10 out of 10, super easy dinner. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all!